dear students we continue with our discussion about the physical features of india and of course uh, just uh, a few second uh, uh, recap of what we have done okay as i told you we studied about uh, the himalayan ranges and how they were formed uh, and then uh, it all begins from here okay right now these himalayan ranges they give rise to uh, three perennial rivers and their branches and then we have a north the great northern vast northern plain okay formed by these rivers and then what happens now uh, then we talked about uh, the peninsula plateau okay now what happens you know after the formation of the himalayan ranges we also have got the the disturbance here okay one land it goes in submerge and another land uh, emerges okay so here also we have got some disturbance no uh, it's mountain and here we, we, we have got some disturbance okay so here some disturbance then we have we talked about the guards okay then we talk we talked about the deccan plateau okay right now speaking about all these we slowly come down to uh, talk about uh, the beaches you know mm? yeah, we call it as uh, we call it as the coastal plains coastal plains and then we will talk about the island okay and the man and lakshadweep island okay right now we'll move on to the lesson um what we mean by the coastal plains uh, here you see you can see the mm, the coast it is a place where the sea meets the land okay right now how this one uh, this coastal plain were, were formed the first one we see um Okay, since mine is in the read re reading mode, and therefore uh, uh, it is just you not know, divided. Of course, this is part one. The uh, these coastal plain were created by three important geological uh, processes. The first one, the geological activity forces earth uh, interior causes the coastal areas to submerge under the sea, or cause the land to. Uh, uh, beneath the sea to emerge okay that is why if you look at uh, this one if you look at uh, these two coastal areas of our country uh, this part okay we call it as western coastal plain and this one is a eastern coastal plain so the 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 very nature of this uh, western coastal plain is that the land actually submerged into the sea it means going down here okay that is why if you go to any of the beaches you will see that uh, land is down and sea is bit up whereas when you come to this part of uh, the coastal plain the eastern coastal plain we see the emergence of the land okay so that's how the coastal plains are formed you no know, um, either uh, uh, the coastal plains are formed due to the emergence of the land or the coastal plains are formed due to the uh, submergence of the land okay right uh, second uh, uh, important uh, factor uh, for the creation of the coastal plain is uh, that the rivers deposit their sediments is very very important you no know? the river as they flow they bring in lot of things lot of things you know um, the fossils or you no know, small small rocks small 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 uh, minerals as they bring they they deposit as they come and it is a major uh, place where they deposit lot of sediments here okay uh, right now uh, these sediments are accumulated over lakhs of years to form this plain they are in fact no fertile no? we have uh, no even different cultivations that are taking taking that are taken place uh, uh, around this coastal um, areas then the sea level changes continuously and due to the changing of the even sea, sea level also we have the uh, the creation of the coastal plain now in india we have two important coastal plain you see here i have attached a video but still uh, i'll just give a short exp explanation about it uh, you see here uh, there are two coastal plain one is a western coastal plain and another one is a eastern coastal plain okay right this western coastal plain begins from uh, kutch the uh, the bay of kutch and then Uh, it extends between uh, the arabian sea and the western ghat this is a western ghat this is a western ghat and this coast this plain is between the sea uh, arabian sea and the western ghat and we can divide this uh, western coastal plain into uh, some um, three section the first one uh, gujarat plain so this is a gujarat plain and then we have uh, kongan plain 
okay that begins from uh, Goa uh, then it almost crosses the whole of Maharashtra so uh, the the northern part is the uh, Gujarat plain and then we have uh, uh, Kongan plain and then we have Mysore plain or Karnataka plain you no know? the uh, the the plains that uh, uh, lies across um, Mysore and Karnataka we call as Karnataka or Mysore plain and then we have another important plain that is the uh, Malabar plain so there are four okay Malabar plain uh, for all these plains here we have uh, so much of uh, natural resources you know due to the geological disturbance under the uh, surface of the earth we have got uh, no lot of you no know, riches you no know? they are rich in minerals okay minerals and then oil that is the reason why you will find all the rich people from this place Lambani, Adani, all those people they are from here because they maximum make use of uh, these you no know, these minerals that we get mm, from the ge geological processes okay another important thing that uh, you have to note is the Malabar plain okay so here we find lot of backwaters backwaters are uh, the place where um, when sea when uh, when a sea um, meets a river you know uh, somehow you know it pushes these two pushes each other and then uh, um, another small you no know, lake like you know it is formed here okay uh, since this is high and this is low and we have the um, inflow of water from the sea as well as from the um, from the river okay this forms the lagoon we also call it call it as lagoon lagoon or uh, backwaters so Malaba uh, is known for these backwaters okay uh, right now another important port that we have here uh, we have here is Kochi Kochi port is very very important in the coastal plain okay now we will move on to the eastern uh, plain uh, eastern plain uh, spreads from Bengal Bay of Bengal and then it covers uh, Odisha okay Odisha and then uh, it covers uh, Andhra Andhra plains and it covers Tamil Nadu plain okay we call it as Quaramandal plain okay uh, TN plain um, so when we look at this eastern Mm, eastern coastal plain it is naturally uh, formed it was created uh, due to the emergence of the land you see here where is it uh, okay so it, it originated from the geological process of land emergence you should be you should understand it no emergence and the western is uh, submergence no? going down uh, just like we see we saw in the eastern uh, in the western plain so also in the eastern plain we have uh, many river flowing you know flowing um, th th through the peninsula and then they deposit their sediment as they meet the sea there are so many rivers you know and we have uh, flowing uh, and then meeting the sea uh, of Bay of Bengal uh, Mahanadi, Godavari, Krishna, Kaveri, Pennar all these uh, all these rivers they meet the sea and then they uh, form deltas Deltas, you know, okay. What is the meaning of delta? Uh, it's nothing but, uh, you know, as the as, as the river, you know, as the great river comes towards the sea, as a great river, you know, the sea, okay. As a great river comes, you know, towards the sea, it becomes a very old river, okay. So what happens now? It has to bring all the sediments, all the uh, small small rocks and things like that, okay. So uh, the load becomes heavy. We, so what happens? Uh, the uh, swiftness okay the the river uh, becomes very slow and therefore since it's unable to bring all the loads what happens it breaks the river breaks okay the river breaks into many branches you know when they meet the sea thus they form small small you know like an no island you no know, we, we call them as you no know, river in island in the, in the previous section you would have studied river in islands and um, these these riverine islands are actually wet you know, because of the presence of these water bodies okay and mm, see if a land is ve very wet and it, it it naturally becomes a fertile land okay that we call as delta okay so uh, the same thing that we find here okay naturally the land land form uh, that we find in the eastern uh, coastal plain is actually uh, up okay so emergence and therefore 
uh, usually we, we see that the rivers when they meet the sea they always you know break into so many branches thus they create so many deltas you know that's the reason why uh, the southern part of india are always uh, you know known as um, the bowl okay bowl of rice the maximum 70 percentage of uh, the rice cultivation is and uh, paddy cultivation is being done in the eastern coastal plain okay uh, right now um, we'll move on to the economic and cultural importance before that you can just go through the video i'm, ju I'm just attaching uh, as it follows then we will move on to the economic and cultural importance of the coastal plain thank you the coastal plains india is blessed with a very long coastline it begins from the Gulf of Kutch and ends at West Bengal. Starting from the Gulf of Kutch in the western coastal plain, it moves southwards along the borders of Maharashtra, Goa, Karnataka and Kerala and touches Kanyakumari, the southernmost tip of the Indian mainland. This part of the coastline is along the Arabian Sea. Between the western ghats and the coast, the land is plain and is known as the western coastal plain. From Kanyakumari, the coast moves northwards and reaches up to West Bengal. This part of the coastline is along the Bay of Bengal. Between the eastern ghats and the coast, the land is plain and is known as the eastern coastal plain. The total length of the coastline is 6,100 kilometers. Such a long coastline is very useful for our country. Fishing is an important occupation of the people living on the coasts. Many seaports have been developed along the coast. The Western Coastal Plain The Western Coastal Plain starts from Gujarat and ends at Kanyakumari. It lies between the Western Ghats and the Arabian Sea. It can be divided into three parts. Gujarat Coast, Konkan Coast and Malabar Coast. The Gujarat Coast lies in the northern part. It lies between the Gulf of Kutch and Gulf of Khambat. The Konkan Coast lies in the middle part and the Malabar coast lies in the southern part of the western coastal plain. The middle part of the western coastal plain, that is Konkan coast, starts from Gulf of Khambat and stretches up to Goa. It is very rocky and uneven. To warm the ships and fishing boats, many lighthouses have been built along the coast. Mumbai India's biggest port is located on the Konkan coast. The Konkan coast is rich in oil deposits. The southern part of the western coastal plain is called the Malabar coast. It lies between Goa and Kanyakumari. Small and shallow saltwater lakes are the beauty of this area. We call them lagoons or backwaters. These lagoons are connected to each other by canals. Kochi is the most important seaport of the Malabar coast. The Eastern Coastal Plain The Eastern Coastal Plain begins from West Bengal in the north and stretches up to Kanyakumari. It passes through the coastal areas of Odisha, Andhra Pradesh and Tamil Nadu. It lies between the Eastern Ghats and the Bay of Bengal. The Eastern Coastal Plain is wider than the Western Coastal Plain. Have you heard about the Coromandel Coast and Northern Sarkars? The northern part of the Eastern Coastal Plain is called the Northern Sarkars and the southern part is called the Coromandel Coast. Rivers like Kaveri, Krishna, Godavari and Mahanadi form their deltas along the eastern coastal plain. These deltas are very fertile 
and are called the rice bowls of India. Kolkata, Chennai, Paradweep and Vishakhapatnam are the important seaports on the eastern coastal plain.